610 now on this Friday morning, and this morning we're remembering Southwest Airlines founder Herb Kelleher. Our friends over at New Country 96.3 KSCS are joining us now. Hawkeye and Connected K. Kelleher truly left behind a lasting legacy, didn't he? He surely did. I got a chance to meet him many years ago. And one of the things that's amazing about Herb Keller is he was a lover of life. And that's the memory I take of him. I mean, he started a business on a cocktail napkin. Literally, he drew out the plans on how to fly from San Antonio to Houston to Dallas. But more than that, he really had a joie de vivre that few people have. And one time I got invited to the Christmas party for Southwest Airlines. And he is out there on the dance floor partying with everybody from Southwest Airlines. And people will tell you who worked for that company, he really was the soul of the airlines. He was a very special individual. He's just somebody you don't hear a lot of bad things about. Yeah, definitely. No definitely. doubt, no doubt. Yes. Uh, you, you know, something very rare happening this weekend. So let's move on and talk about the Josh Abbott band. Yes. You know what? This never happens at Billy Bob's where the same act appears Friday and Saturday night, right? Can I just That's right. But Josh Abbott Band, I mean, one of Texas's favorite bands yeah. of all time, I'd say. I mean, these guys always bring a packed house. Iconic. Iconic. It's so big, in fact, that Billy Bob's had to book him for Friday and Saturday night. So that's a pretty big deal. So pretty excited about that. Also, George Strait coming back to Texas. It was announced also this weekend that uh, he's going to be at the Houston Rodeo. So Closing for all those, out the Houston Rodeo. All those fans that got upset that he was... Uh, the tickets sold out in Fort Worth can go down to Houston coming up in a couple of months to see him out there. Yes. Except that we have to go to Houston, but there's that. But anyway, okay, okay, we yeah, can't. Gotta, yeah. I know, I know. I'll drive you guys. <laughs> we're trying to do the best we can. I know because it's sold out so fast. Yeah, I know, I know. It's dirt straight. All right, so we can't let you go without getting your predictions for the Cowboys Seahawks game. Uh, well, I think they're going to beat the Seahawks, but I tell you what, that, I think it's going to be the end of the run for the Cowboys because they only won three road games this whole year and they got to win two after that. So, you know, we might beat the Seahawks, but I don't have a lot of hope after that. Connect to K? Uh, I will tell you right now that my boyfriend is from the area and a big Seahawks fan. So <laughs> I would like to not argue this weekend when I get home. So I'm going to say my prediction is the Seahawks. Oh, oh you're wow. a good girlfriend, Connect to K. Yeah, I guess oh. so. Well, I'm going to take the I'm Cowboys. I'm just trying to avoid an argument, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> go Cowboys. Yeah, exactly. Thanks so much, guys. Appreciate it. Have a great weekend. Yeah. And go Cowboys. Yeah.